Hey guys, welcome to the last video for the recreation of the MOBA character series. In this video, we'll be adding the experience gain from killing enemies in an overall basic level up system, making each level need more experience from the previous to get to the following level. Before we jump into the tutorial, I want to mention that I set up a community discord where you can stay up to date on all things MOBA related. Join by clicking the link in the description below. With that being said, let's jump right into the tutorial. We'll kick things off by creating a slider to simulate the experience bar in a 2D canvas. Anchor it to the bottom and align it with the HUD. We won't need the handle slide area, so you can go ahead and remove it. Apply these settings to fit the slider within the HUD, making sure that it's rotated 90 degrees to fill upwards. Adjust the fill area settings to your preference. This part is all up to you. To round it off, give the slider a standout yellow color and rename it to 2D XP Slider. Moving forward, let's generate a text element and name it 2D Level Text. This text will display the player's current level. Like before, anchor it to the bottom and let's increase the font size for better visibility. Set the text to any number you prefer. Bear in mind that this will change based on the in-game stats. Play around with the settings until you are satisfied. Transitioning to the 3D canvas, Replicate the same steps, but this time only include the text and not the slider bar. Remember to set the rotation to 180, fixing an error from previous episodes. If you didn't encounter this issue, simply just leave the rotation to zero. Before we proceed, let's do a quick play test to ensure that both text and the slider appear correctly. Now let's make a quick adjustment in the target enemy script. Change the private transform target to a public so we can access it from the upcoming scripts. Over in the enemy section, create a new script called enemy death handler. Once the script is open up in Visual Studio, define a public integer called experience value and set it to 50. You can remove the start and update method since they are not needed. Instead, create a public void named die. Inside here, Establish that the game object called player is set to game object .find with tag player. Now check if the player isn't null. When the player game object sends a message to gain experience from enemy, pass in the experience value. Finally, you can destroy the current game object. Back in Unity, head to the player and create a new script called experience system. At the beginning of the script, Add using UnityEngine.UI. Let's outline the variables we'll need. A public integer named current level, which is set to 1. Another public integer called current XP starting at 0. A public int called XP to level up, which is set to 100. Another public int called XP increase factor, which is set to 2. A public slider called XP slider. And two public text elements, level text 2D and level text 3D. Feel free to delete the start method. In the update method, call an update UI function. Define a private void update UI, where you'll check if the XP bar slider is not null, set the max value of the XP slider to XP to level up, then have the value of the XP bar to the current XP. For the 2D text slider, verify if the level text 2D isn't null, set its text to current level dot string. Duplicate this process, but this time adding the variable to level text 3D. Now you can minimize this section to focus on the next piece of the code. Create a private void called gain experience from enemy and define an integer called amount. Within this method, introduce another void called gain experience, which takes in the amount. Inside this new method, increment a current XP by amount. Set a loop while current XP is greater than or equal to XP to level up. And within this loop, call the level up method. Create a private void called level up. In this method, simply increment the current level by 1. We'll also subtract the XP to level up from current XP and multiply XP to level up by XP increase factor. This is usually the code where you allocate skill points, but for now, we'll just focus on the basics. A quick note, ensure that the experience gained from enemy matches the exact same spelling as the enemy death handler, otherwise we'll never get caught. Let's now quickly modify the stat script. We'll be adding the checks for whether the player is dead or the enemy is defeated. Locate the take damage function and insert an if statement. 
if target.compareTagPlayer in targetStats.Health is less than or equal to zero, we'll execute the rest of the code. This particular part is focusing on when the player is dead. Apply the same logic for the enemies. If the target.compareTag is the enemy and the targetStats.Health is less than or equal to zero, assign the enemy death handler script to enemy death handler using target.getComponent enemy death handler. We'll do if the enemy death handler is not null, we'll invoke the die function within that script. Alternatively, if the target stats damage coroutine is null, initiate the startler health function within the target stats. That concludes the steps required for our leveling system. Back in Unity, ensure that you've added all the essential variables to the inspector, such as the 2D experience slider and the 2D and 3D text. Also, adjust the enemy health bars for easier testing. We'll duplicate the enemies to accumulate multiple instances of experience gain. We'll go ahead and press play, and as you defeat the enemies, observe how the experience slider grows. After killing two enemies, it will level up. Once it's reached the second level, it will then times the XP needed to level up again. And there you have it folks, our basic level up system is now fully operational. I still have other features in mind, but those will be in a separate video or series. This particular series is just a base or a starting point for future videos that are related to the MOBA genre, such as recreating abilities, the minions, turrets, and all other MOBA features. Make sure to join my Discord community to stay up to date and engaged. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!